Hi, my name is Bricia Yoon, and my medical mystery was the case of the men with the blue skin. Uh, so for the patient's descriptions, we have several unidentified men. The first one was an 82-year-old who it appeared as though his nose, lips, ears, and fingers were the color of sky blue. Um, other unidentified men were also well, were all also elderly and dilapidated, rigid, synodic, and in a state of shock. Then we have John Michelle, the only identified victim who was 73 years old and whose body had turned completely blue. And again, several patients with the same uh, descriptions. So on September 25th, 1944, an elderly man was found collapsed on the floor in extreme agony. It appeared as though several appendages, uh, several of his appendages were the color of sky blue. He laid unconscious, unconscious with blueness spread all around larger parts of his area, of his, uh, yeah. A physical examination attributed his skin tone to cyanosis, a result from insufficient supply of oxygen in the blood. Uh, when he was properly treated, he had no recollection of what had happened to him, as he was in a state of complete shock. So, he was initially diagnosed with carbon monoxide poisoning, uh, and afterwards, nine other men suffered from the same conditions. One of these men, John Michel, was the bluest, as he was completely covered from head to toe in blue pigment. At first, there was no connection between these men, so a contained outbreak was ruled out. Um, soon again, uh, another aged blue man was brought in several hours after the first nine, and by the last case, an investigation was set to report all outbreaks of epidemiologic nature. Um, gas poisoning was quickly ruled out as all illnesses were told to be extremely sudden, and all men there was a link as all men ate at Eclipse ca cafeteria prior to the illness. Uh, test for methemoglobin, uh, a form of hemoglobin, uh, for one man came back positive. So for symptoms, each patient had one or more appendage or appendages the color of sky blue. Symptoms included blue skin, sudden dizziness, extreme inner pain, and fatigue. Uh, patients were all considered elderly and unfit for typical laborious work. So symptoms developed in less than 30 minutes, very uh, sudden. Uh, blood typical in methemoglobin cases turned chocolatey red um, and medical history was not provided. So some medical terminology in the article. First is cyanosis, which is the medical term for when skin, lips, or nails turn blue from lack of oxygen. There's also carbon monoxide, which is poisoning, which occurs when carbon monoxide builds up in the blood. Then there is um, staphylococcus, uh, which is bacteria commonly found on the skin or in the nose. Uh, it's very relatively minor skin infection. There's methemoglobin, which is a blood disorder that affects how red blood cells deliver oxygen. There's anti amidrosec a substance that quells or blunts the libido, and sodium nitrite, a chemical compound. So, uh, there were several conclusions I came up with. Uh, for one, patients could have had po could have possibly had amidrone or Argyria. Uh, originally, investigators also proposed methemoglobinemia, uh, again, a form of hemoglobin. However, unlike hemoglobin, methemoglobinemia does not bind oxygen and as a result cannot deliver oxygen to the tissue, which turns certain areas of the skin blue. This was ruled as a possibility, meaning that the onus could be traced back to medication. So, amy. Derone uh, was is a medicine that treats a uh, fast or irregular heartbeat, and it has numerous side effects, including low blood pressure, uh, fast heart rhythm, and blockage in arteries. Several photosensitive photosensitive groups often suffer from blue grayish blotches on their skin, and here are some patients. Um, there's argyria, which is a rare condition wherein the skin and 
mucous membranes turn blue slash gray. Um, it only occurs from frequent exposure over time or over consumption of microscopic silver compounds. However, it is also ultimately considered a benign condition. Uh, it is mostly developed from secondhand exposure through workplace or medicine medical use. And here are some patients. Finally, we have sodium nitrite, which is a yellowish white odorless substance. Uh, it's present in many consumables and also certain medications. Uh, sodium nitrite is also connected to methamic goblin anemia, which, as I stated before, is present in one of the uh, one of the men men's system. So, based off the clues given, the overabundance of nitrate in the victim systems seems to have perpetrated the events. So, all 11 men ate, at the, ate the same meal at the same cafeteria earlier to the outbreak. And again, they tested positive for methemoglobinemia. Uh, and a food safety inspection result uh, came back with extremely high doses of sodium nitrate in the salt used for these men's meals. So, sodium nitrate intoxication causes an increase in methemoglobin. Methemic goblin. Uh, resulting in systematic hypoxia, metabolic acidosis, and cyanosis. Uh, it's also a preservative, which means that exposure to, exposure to food with excessive amounts can also cause this poisoning. And these are my sources. Thank you.